Alright, I've had some requests to see the laser in action, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm in the workshop here. And there's the laser and the cart I built for it. You can see I have an air compressor down here, uh, my power strip, and then a five gallon bucket that contains the water pump for the laser. Um, keep the laser tube nice and cool. And this is the laser itself. It's about 30 inches wide here, just to give you an idea of scale. Um, and it just plugs USB into this laptop here to run it. Um, inside here, there's the uh, gantry. Uh, can move in two directions, so you know, X and Y axis. Um, this is the part that I had to fix this right here. This was not flexing properly, but now it's all bendy and wonderful and doesn't hit the roof of the machine. And the basic way that this works is the laser tube is back behind this wall here, and it points at this first mirror, and then it goes through this mirror, which is attached to the gantry, and then through this third mirror, which is called the flying mirror that's uh, attached to the cut head, and then there's a lens down inside that tube. And then it points at the wood. So I'm gonna do a quick cut job here for you, as soon as I can get the laser to come back online. Okay. And just do a quick job perimeter. I have to run this with the lid closed. The lid blocks infrared light from the laser so that you do not go blind um, while it's running. So I'll just start this up here. I'll compute the vectors. And then it will cut. And if you hear that high pitched squealing noise right now, that's the power supply. Uh, doing pulse width modulation for the for the laser. It's kind of noisy, but gets the job done. It's not nearly the laser doesn't make that squeal when it's doing uh, straight cuts because it doesn't pulse the laser for this part. It just switches it on and just runs it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, pop it right out. Yeah. That's it.